my name is Olivia and welcome back. I am here with another video. Um, my last video has been like months ago. Or it feels like it's been months ago. Um, I just don't know why I don't make more videos. <laughs> I literally can't explain to you why. Maybe it's the fact that I don't have any ideas. But I am here with an idea. I was inspired by my friend who gave birth to a wonderful, beautiful little baby girl. And it just made me think about like my time in labor and delivery as a nursing student. And so I thought maybe it would be a really cool idea to kind of do a little story time on here. So here is my story about my very first time in labor and delivery as a nursing student. Okay, so a little background story about um, myself first. Just a little bit about how I felt about labor and delivery personally as, you know, a student nurse. So just like everyone else, we all had our OB semester and it was approaching. And before OB, um, I wasn't necessarily excited because I didn't see myself as a labor and OB nurse or labor and OB whoops as a labor and delivery nurse I didn't even see myself as like an OB nurse and so I wasn't as excited as a lot of my other classmates who you know obviously your dreams were to be in labor and delivery and so I wasn't too excited but you know I was excited about like a new environment kind of excited about um, like a new topic just talking about mothers and babies and just learning more about their pregnancies and, and all that stuff so I was excited about that before this semester I have never seen a labor and delivery like never I've never seen it in person I've never even seen a video of it I was supposed to see it in high school in my anatomy and physiology class but my math class had some project that I had to get out of the class for and I had to like put up a poster board about numbers and have people walk around the room and look at my poster board and that is what I did instead of watching a video. So I'm going to be completely honest with you. You know how there's some nurses out there who they kind of faint sometimes. Like I know there, there were some people in my class that like fainted at the side of blood. I thought for me, the very moment that I was going to see a baby being born, you know, from that area, I just thought I was going to faint. I am not lying to you guys. Like, I am serious. I thought that was my time to faint. I don't know why, because I just did not know what to expect. I didn't know what it would all look like, and I just thought I would faint. And so, before nursing or no before our rotation started at the hospital we were waiting for our, our schedule and I had like a gut feeling that my very first week ever in the hospital I was going to be a labor and delivery and guys listen to your guts because I was right <laughs> I had labor and delivery the very first week of my clinical and I was freaking out because I thought that I was gonna have a few weeks to myself to like mentally prepare and just kind of hear about like my peers stories about how they were in labor and delivery and what they saw but I was the one who was gonna have to tell them that because I was the first one there <laughs> Ah, uh, it was like no joke guys. I was so nervous. I was freaking out. I just don't know why that thought was like in my head of me fainting. I just like sincerely thought I was just nervous, you know, because labor and delivery is not quite for everyone and I already knew beforehand that like OB wasn't for me. So, <laughs> so the day of my clinical the first day ever in a hospital, I come into the hospital, meet up with my group, and my uh, clinical instructor, she kind of tells all of us about like a little like information beforehand about what we're about to face with, you know, kind of like the patients and whatnot. And 
when she came to me, uh, she told me that, you know, obviously I was going to be labor and delivery, but I was going to be in a high risk labor and delivery. That has increased my nerves a lot more because I was just thinking to myself, like, what else am I going to see? Like, that's a high risk. That is kind of scary to me. <laughs> I tried to keep a positive mindset about that. And I knew that the nurses had it down, you know, they they have dealt with high risk labor and deliveries before, so they knew what was going to happen or what to do. So I was confident, nervous, but confident. Walking into the labor and delivery room. So um, my patient, let me tell you guys about, okay, not let me tell you guys about my patient because I'm not going to go like break HIPAA or whatever, but I just want to say, despite it being high risk and all that stuff, my patient was so extremely calm throughout the whole thing. Like she was just sitting there, relaxing, laughing with her husband, just, you know, very relaxed. Like she was like, Obviously, she was like uncomfortable, but she was very quiet. She was just very, you know, trying her very best to be as comfortable as she can, and she did really well. And I was just like, girl, you're goals. Speaking of the high risk though, so I didn't really talk much about why it was high risk, but basically the baby had some cardiac complications and needed to go to NICU right after. And when I was with my nurse, um, you know, she she was very busy, so I tried my very best to kind of get, like, get out of her way, but also like kind of observe what she was doing, kind of see like, you know, kind of learn from what she was doing. So, here comes the time when the baby is coming. Wow. <laughs> the, the first time you see a baby coming, like the first time you see a mother give birth, Ooh, that is one crazy experience and guess what I did not faint <laughs> I didn't faint I was just like so shocked with like what I was saying that I think that's what kept me up <laughs> but it was like honestly so amazing um like I was seeing the baby crown I think that's the term crown I was seeing the baby crown and then, um, you know, obviously in the room, since it was high risk, there was quite a lot of people in there. There were the doctors, a few nurses, the NICU nurses came in. Even though it was a high risk, it was just very, like, not stressful, if you guys know what I mean. It was just a very, very happy time. Everyone knew what they were doing, and so, um, wow, when the baby came out, like, oh my gosh. There were a lot of emotions, like a lot of good emotions in the room. Just seeing that was like so surreal because that moment I kind of realized like wow, like we were able to make people inside of us and we were able like a person just came out of another person. Like that is like mind blowing to me and just to see that firsthand was like absolutely the best thing ever and that is going to be like one of my most memorable parts of nursing school was that family and seeing the birth of their daughter oh yeah and then the baby had um a nuchal cord which is when the umbilical cord is wrapped around the baby's neck and so um when the baby was coming out i've noticed that the doctor was kind of like guiding the baby making sure the baby wasn't coming out too far so that once the baby was out just enough then the doctor like immediately like unwrapped the umbilical cord it happened like so quickly so i was like whoa the father oh my gosh like he just had tears going down his face he was so happy the mom um you can tell she was very tired from everything but she was just like so happy to see her daughter and there was that immediate like um, skin to skin contact with the baby and it was just like it was overall such a beautiful 
experience. The baby was so cute! Oh, the baby was so adorable! I don't really know what else to say other than the fact that it was like one of the best experiences for me and I feel like I keep repeating that but if you're a nursing student and you're about to see your first labor and delivery, um, I just want to let you know that it is a beautiful experience. You're going to be a part of that family story. I can't believe I was so nervous about it all. I just cannot believe it. If you are a nursing student and you are interested in OB, comment down below. I kind of want to see how many of you guys are watching this and you guys are like interested in OB and what specifically about OB. But OB was overall such an amazing experience. If you have any OB stories, any labor and delivery stories that you like to share down below, you can comment away. If you guys like this video, I mean, I'm so like such a YouTuber, but if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment away. I would like to hear your stories if you like. If you can't subscribe, you don't have to subscribe. Honestly, do whatever you like. But thank you for watching my video. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And as Derek Shepard has said, it's a beautiful day to save lives. So yeah. <laughs> Bye!